الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم. Something for my Sunni brothers. When we have a Sheikh, a Peer, or whoever making statements or doing things against the Quran and Sunnah, we walk with the Quran and Sunnah and we step away from the Sheikh. We don't follow the Sheikh in that regard. The Quran and the Sunnah must come first. Whatever the Sheikh says, if it is against the Quran and Sunnah, regardless of how high its status is, we leave the Sheikh and we go and. And so now, regardless of how high its status is, we leave the Sheikh and we go and follow the Quran and the Sunnah only. That's what Sheikh Abdul Qadir Jilani, uh, radiallahu anhu, advised us as well. And I would also like to advise you the same. Alhamdulillah, wa salatu wa salamu ala Rasulillah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. One of the biggest lies that I fell about those who follow the Sufi path is that you guys worship graves. This is a huge lie. What Muslim out of his right mind would worship other than Allah? Well, one of our famous Imams, Imam Ahmad Rida Khan, very famously explained, worshipping a grave of uh, out of ibadah is shirk, therefore leading to kufr. And sajdai ta'zim, ibadah is shirk, therefore leading to kufr. And sajdai ta'zim, prostration of respect to a grave is haram is a major sin. So what about those who actually end up doing these things or people that have seen people do these things? Well, allow me to explain. Just like how cruel people around the world carry out acts in the name of Islam and harm people do not represent us. Likewise, those people who go to shrine and harm people do not represent us. Likewise, those people who go to shrines or go to graves and end up doing sujood do not represent the true Sufi path. In fact, they are jails, they have no knowledge, and they are actually explained to and taken aside and told that this is impermissible. So next time somebody tells you that Sufi is grave worship, send them this video. Alhamdulillah, wa salatu wa salamu ala Rasulillah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Be careful whose translation of the Qur'an you read. There's a very famous uh, verse in the Qur'an in Surah Al-Duha which says, Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim, wa wajada qadallan fahada, which is usually translated as, we found you lost and then we guided you. There is a very big problem with that translation. Number one, how can a Nabi be lost? A Nabi is always guided by Allah Tabarakut. By Allah Tabarakut Ta'ala. How can a Nabi not know what he's doing? And number two, if he was lost first and then he guided Allah Tabarakut Ta'ala, guided the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. So are you saying that before that he was misguided? A lot of people also said that he wasn't uh, translated it as he wasn't aware of the truth. Na'udhu Billah Min Dhalik. This is not the correct translation. In fact, the most beautiful translation that I've come across is by Imam Ahmad Rida Khan, alayhi rahmatul Hanan, where he sends, uh, which he says, I wasn't aware of the truth. Na'udhu billah min dhalik. This is not the correct translation. In fact, the most beautiful translation that I've come across is by Imam Ahmad Rida Khan, alayhi rahmatul Hanan, where he sends, uh, which he says in Ganzul Islam, in his uh, translation of the Quran, he translated the verse as, we found you engrossed in our love, and we directed you. How beautiful is that translation? Um, so be very careful in whose translation you read and more details of this